Hey loves, and welcome to Heart to Heart Love Messages. My name is Crystal. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. If you are already subscribed here, welcome back. So just a quick message before we get into tonight's reading. I wanna thank everyone for all of the likes, the comments, the subscribes, all the love that you pour into the channel on a daily basis. I appreciate every last one of you. Also, personal readings are back open. They will be open from October 1st through the 10th. So if that's something that you feel called to receive at this time, you can find all of that information posted in the description box below, as well as information on how to join us over on Patreon, okay? So tonight I have a no contact message from your person. So I'll be using this deck here just to see how they are currently feeling as well as how they are currently viewing you and or your connection at this time, okay? So let's go ahead and get a clear and concise message directly from their heart space, okay? Wow, so the first message we have here is, I miss the way you look at me. Hmm, I just got specific. So I'm getting already that this message may not resonate with everyone because I'm getting that this is directly pointing to a connection that is highly spiritual, okay? And you both know this. And this means that at some point along your connection or along your journey, you both have received confirmation that this is your person, okay? You both know that this is not just a normal kind of three... 3D relationship, right? But this is someone you are in separation from at this time, Divine Feminine. And more than anything, what they're seeking is to be seen, okay? This is a very intimate, um, intense type of energy coming from this masculine energy. They're missing you a lot here, but this is pointing directly to the eye contact. And this is a very specific type of energy it's been a while since this masculine has had their eyes on you. And for some reason, they're thinking back to these moments that you were close in this way. There was something that was activated within your person or within this connection when you made this eye contact, okay? And this was something that was so powerful that there's really no words to describe it, but I'm getting that you both felt it and you still feel it to this day very, very deeply. But more than anything, the one thing that they miss or that they think about the most is the eye contact. And I'm also getting activation. So you may be feeling a really intense emotional response. And this is coming directly from your person because they're really wanting to gaze into your eyes. But more importantly, I'm getting that this masculine wishes to be seen at this time. So this could very well be a masculine energy that was very intentional about how much they express to you, about how much they let you into their world, into their personal journey here. But it's, it's so much deeper than you, okay? I'm getting that you both met at a very significant time on your journeys. You both were actually in the midst of a very powerful transformation. And just being in each other's presence awakened something in both of you. Whether you know it or not, it's like your souls were searching for one another. And this is something that maybe you haven't verbalized. Okay? Maybe you both haven't had, you know, this real intense, intimate type of conversation where you opened up to where you were on your journeys and what it meant to kind of cross paths with one another. But this was very powerful for the both of you here, okay? This is mutual energy, so I'm getting that you both feel this. But if you're wondering how your person is feeling at this time, they're yearning for you. But more importantly, they want you to see them. They want you to know what it is that they feel. Maybe they've been in this energy recently of hiding or maybe engaging in a lot of surface connections around them that they're yearning for true depth at this time. And they want this from you and you only, Divine Feminine. Okay, so this is a very specific type of energy. 
you may very well feel this masculine energy um, just pulling on you. You may feel just intense bouts of, of emotion. And this is because they're craving, you know, to see you. But more importantly, they're craving to be seen. So this, this is a very specific kind of message here. <laughs> let's get the next, let's get the next card. Okay, the next message we have here is I'm healing from my past. Yeah. There, there's a deep clearing that's happening at this time as well with this divine masculine, okay? But what they're realizing, what's sticking out to them the most at this time, divine feminine, is that they're realizing that the timing of this connection was very, very auspicious. So if you could think back to the moment that you met or that you crossed paths, you both were experiencing something very similar, whether you express this or not. So I'm getting that while you are at a distance from your person, you wonder what their mental and their emotional process is like. And at this time, they're going through a major activation. They want you to know that they're healing from a lot of painful things that occurred in their past. I'm picking up on a masculine energy that has been through a lot, but you, you wouldn't be able to tell this just by simply looking at them. There's someone who has this ability to kind of hold everything together, but they were not able to do this when they crossed paths with you. They were able to navigate life, you know, holding things in, being very stoic, being impenetrable until they met you. And for some of you, this is specifically how your, how your masculine knew that it was you because they felt kind of exposed on, on the other side of your gaze. But what's interesting here is that I'm getting you both are very similar in this way, okay, as it pertains to your healing journeys. And maybe you didn't have identical past experiences, but as far as the emotional aspect of it, you have felt some of the same things. You both are not strangers to pain, to loss, okay, and having to navigate through the darkness. I'm also getting that at this time, your person, there's like a really um, thankful kind of energy coming through here as well, where your person is realizing that it was a blessing that the universe aligned the both of you because before meeting you, they never truly felt seen. But there's this adverse type of energy because although they never felt seen before meeting you, when they met you, this could have very well triggered them, okay? This could have triggered them into running. This could have triggered them into shutting down, into closing off. It's kind of like their soul was directing them into this certain path, this path of truth, okay? And once they aligned with you, this very well may have triggered them a little bit, okay? But for some reason, they're seeking this at this moment. So this is a very, very specific type of energy here. And it, this goes back to them missing your eyes. They desire more than anything to feel seen at this time and to feel their emotions, okay? And this is indicative of the emotions that they're clearing, okay? This could be tied to the stories that they were either told or that they begin to tell themselves about life and love. But I'm getting heavy dual energy here. So you could be feeling this too, Divine Feminine. Before aligning with one another on this journey, you both were surrounded by people who didn't really know you on a soul level. It's like they knew things about you, maybe things that you shared with them, but it's almost as if um, you both were kind of seeking to be seen in a way, okay? And you only identify that deep soul resonance with this connection, although you were surrounded by people who you may love, okay, family, friends, people who you may have a, a, a deep history with, it's almost as if, you know, you both just, just don't identify with, with those connections in the same way that you do with this connection here. But what's interesting about this energy is that a lot of times when you align with someone who has experienced the same trauma or pain that you have, it could be the start of a trauma bond. But this was opposite. And it was only opposite because you both were actively shedding these lower energies and trying to ascend to something higher. This is very powerful, okay? 
and you both kind of intuitively knew this about one another. I'm getting this may not have been something that you communicated, but there was a difference in how you engage one another. You both were leading with your higher selves, okay? But there's a really intense energy here of you both feeling as if the best parts of you were either overlooked or not as highlighted as your other parts as it pertains to the, the other connection that you had in your life. And meeting each other was such a life-altering experience because you were able to communicate these commonalities with one another, even if this wasn't verbalized, okay? So it's almost as if your person is coming through kind of thanking you. Maybe they're really knee-deep in their healing journey and a lot of these emotions are coming up. And because they're coming up, they deeply want to feel seen and feel, you know, heard at this time. But yeah, they're, they're really realizing that this is a spiritual connection and it differs in this way from their other connections here. It's like they're beginning to put things in their proper place and this is including the people, okay? So this could very well be a masculine who had a faulty self-perception and they're awakening to this. They're aligning with what feels really true to them. They're feeling very powerful, but this is also a very fragile kind of energy as well because it is, it's very depleting, you know? It can pull on you in many, many different ways. It can make you question who you are. It can make you question every single thing in your reality, okay? Because it's almost as if your soul is aligning you with the truth, but where you look out around you, you see something that's vastly different from that. So this is very powerful. Let's get the next message here. Wow. The next message we have is, I've been dreaming of you lately. Okay, I just got 5D. Yeah, so at this time, there is a lot of activity going on in the 5D. Okay, and because your masculine is in this position emotionally, they want you to know how they feel at this time. I'm picking up specifically on, on a connection that has been lacking in the area of emotional expression, simply because this masculine did not have the capacity for it. It's like when it comes to you, Divine Feminine, they seem to overthink a lot or they second guess what their heart and soul is telling them as it pertains to this connection. So this card is letting me know that this masculine is beginning to open up emotionally and they could be very well pulling on you in the 5D, okay? And I'm getting that this is happening for both of you at the same time. So this energy may be very, very intense. You may be seeing your person in dreams, but I'm getting clearly something about the message in your dreams here. It's like they're clearly letting you know how your person is feeling. So you may be seeing them in unexpected places. Maybe you're getting a peek into the future here. Okay, but at this time, your dream state is being highlighted because your person's soul is, is kind of calling out to you. And mostly because you're at a distance from them in the 3D. So the 5D activity is picking up a lot more than usual here. But they want you to know that whatever you're dreaming about at this time, they're having the same dreams, okay? Like I was saying, there's something very intense and, and heavy about this energy, also something very spiritual, okay, that's happening behind the scenes. There's a lot of communication. This is a masculine who, it doesn't matter how far apart you are, you are always communicating, okay? But there's something different here with the communication. Because they are more open, because they're clearing and they're healing a lot of these heavy, heavy emotions, um, and stories from their past, it's like at this time, they, they want you to see them. So you may very well be getting glimpses of, you know, certain aspects of their personality. Um, maybe they're more emotionally expressive here, but there's something heavy activity going on in the dream state here. Um, there's a lot of information that's being exchanged. So if you're feeling really, really intense emotions, especially at night before bed, or kind of why you're like drifting off to sleep, your person is feeling this too. And I'm getting that they're also wondering if you if you feel this same energy or if, or if you're getting these same dreams or if you just feel the intensity at this time in the same way that they do, 
okay? And I'm getting for a lot of you, you do. And this may be specific, but your dreams are like a huge indicator of what's happening in your journey. A lot of times during the twin flame journey, your dreams will show you the future. Your dreams will show you what's happening next in the connection or how your person is feeling directly from their heart space. Because a lot of times the 3D can be a complete illusion. So it's like your person is, is, is wanting you to tap into that energy or it's almost as if they're telling you that what's happening in the dream state, it's happening for them too, okay? So it's like they're wanting you to trust that intuition and to trust what's happening, okay? Let's get the next message here. Yeah, there's, there's something taking place here. Um, there may be a major, major clearing. As we know, there's a lot of activations that happens within this dynamic here, but it's I just keep getting this masculine wants to be seen, okay? So they could have very well tried to hide from you in many different ways. They could have been fighting their feelings, fighting this connection, but where they stand right now is like they want that intensity. They want that emotional exposure that they feel when they're on the other side of your gaze, okay? Although there is a lot of 5D activity, it's like they want that 3D physical kind of interaction at this time. And you may be feeling this very intensely, Divine Feminine. Okay, so the next message we have here is, I'm being pulled in your direction. Wow. So yeah, this is a very, very intense type of energy where their soul is actually guiding them towards you at this time. It's like a heavy magnetic pull that they feel, okay? So if you're resonating with this message so far, this masculine is going through a major activation at this time and they're pulling on your energy a lot. For some of you, this may be a surprise to you because you never thought that your person will openly express what they felt and what you knew to be true since the day you met them. But what's actually happening is that as they release this heaviness, their soul is naturally trying to get them back into alignment with you. And they're no longer fighting this. They're no longer practicing restraint, okay? They want to feel on a deeper level. They may have felt a little uncomfortable in the past, due to how intense this connection was specifically i'm getting the eye contact because that's what's being highlighted here but where they stand right now they want to feel this they want to be seen whereas in the past they didn't okay they were almost willing to do anything to make sure that the boundaries they set around their heart space were not penetrated at all but they're tired of holding back they're tired of living in an authentic way surrounded by inauthentic people this is a masculine energy who's doing the work. And it's not easy to them because it's revealing things to them that maybe they were not ready to see, okay? So this is definitely pointing to their 3D world versus their internal world. As you can see, their thoughts, their dreams, the subconscious, their soul, okay, their emotional body, it's heavily clinging to you at this time, Divine Feminine. And this is because as they look around in their 3D world, they're beginning to, you know, make the differences between what's aligning with their highest and their best and, and the energies that they no longer associate with at this time, okay? So they want you to know that they're actually putting in this work to heal from their past. And the more and more that they clear up this energy and make this room, it's kind of like they're being, you know, heavily pulled in your direction, okay? And, you know, at this time, you know, all of this is happening because their soul knows what they need. And that's you, Divine Feminine. So they're surrounded by your energy. Everything reminds them of you. They're thinking about the times that you spent. And the number one thing that's sticking out here to them is being close to you and experiencing this kind of emotional exposure that only you can activate. That only happens when they're in your presence. And what's interesting here is a thing that I'm getting that, you know, because this is very mutual energy, but I'm also getting that you both have this thing in common where you have shared space with a lot of people on your journey. 
okay? This is family, this is friends. But it wasn't until you met your person that you were actually able to see a version of yourself that no one else was able to get you to see, okay? That's that type of emotional intensity that your person is seeking right now. They crave to be seen for everything that they are at this stage of their journeys, okay? This is a very, very powerful position, okay? So at this time, you may definitely feel a sudden rush of emotion or just an overall inner, just the overall um, feeling of your person's energy. And this is why, okay? They also recognize that this pull towards you is their higher self, okay? They're definitely beginning to put things in their proper place at this time, okay? So let's get the next message here. Okay, so the next message we have here is, wow, we have you are the missing piece. Yeah, so this ties right into, you know, this masculine really stepping into this position of authority. And as they begin to look around them, they're beginning to put things in their proper places. And I'm getting specifically, this has to do with people, okay? And they're realizing that in their 3D reality, you're the only thing that's missing. So while there may be heavy 5D activity right now, you're on their mind, you're in their thoughts, you're in their dreams, okay? They're sending you heavy telepathic messages right now, okay? And this could be in the form of songs. This could be actual messages that you, you know, receive energetically. This can just be an overall feeling or an energy, okay? Because things are aligning in the 5D, naturally, they're yearning and they're being pulled towards you in the 3D, okay? And... This is very important, you know, for you to know that this is something that your person knew within the very, very beginning, okay? And that's what they're, I guess, trying to communicate with this eye contact here about them knowing that you were their person, okay? Or you were important to them on their journey simply by them feeling this, this kind of exposure that they were not ready for. But where they are right now, they're seeking to feel that because whatever was acting as a distraction, whatever was keeping in this kind of inauthentic timeline is beginning to shift. Your person has kind of, you know, rose to the occasion and is trying to actively heal from their past, realizing that they cannot operate in their past and their future simultaneously, okay? So yeah, this is a very powerful position, but like I was saying before, this may be very specific because I'm picking up on a very spiritual connection here where literally from the beginning where you align with your person, you both knew that this connection was rare, okay? And you knew this because when you looked into each other's eyes, you received information about one another that people that know you, that have been with you probably your whole life don't know or don't have access to. Okay, and that's the level of intensity that your person is trying to communicate, okay? That probably was a little uncomfortable for them, but where they are right now, for some reason on their journey, they're seeking this type of emotional exposure. It's like they want to be seen. They want you to see them. They want to express things that they've been through. They wanna exchange stories. They want to like really communicate deeply with you at this time here. So yeah, this, this is very, very interesting energy here. A very auspicious type of connection as well. Okay. I'm getting that you both were, you know, at a very transitional point on your journeys and you both, this meeting acted, acted as some type of confirmation for the both of you, okay? Let's get the next message here. The last message, wow. The last message is, I need to see your beautiful face. Oh, okay. So yeah, this this is a masculine that has a lot of love for you, Divine Feminine. Um, and they're really yearning for you. They're yearning to be close to you. They're yearning for intimacy. They're yearning for sensuality, for passion, okay? Um, 
there could have been a lot that you missed out on in this connection. And you both are heavily thinking about the other at this time, thinking about how your person views you, how your person views this connection, what it is that they want, okay? And how you can kind of take this to the next level. This, this is where your person's focus is at this time. This is why you are receiving the dreams, the emotions, the heaviness of their energy right now. For some of you, because um, I keep getting something about the dream state being like very, very important at this time where you're actually seeing like stages of your connection. It may be taking you back to the beginning. It could be showing you bits and pieces of your future here, but it's important. It's like your person wants you to know that they're experiencing these things too. So because a lot, anytime there's heavy, heavy energy in the 5D, things happen in the 5D before they come down to the 3D. So your person is at this place where they have been experiencing all of this heavy energy, all of these dreams, all of these synchronicities, feeling consumed by your energy. And right now they're craving, you know, physical touch. They're craving the need to, to be on the opposite side of you, looking into your eyes, telling you how it is that they feel about you feeling exposed, expressing these emotions, okay? There's a lot that they want to purge, but for some reason it's like, maybe they feel safe communicating this with you. You have a lot of commonalities with this masculine energy. And maybe you haven't had the same experiences, you know, on your journeys, but the emotional part of it, it's like your person knows that they can trust you with that and you feel the same way with them here. But your person is definitely thinking about you. If they have pictures of you, okay, they're looking at these pictures, <laughs> they're daydreaming about you, thinking about your beauty, okay, wanting to really be close to you and experience you in this way. So I definitely feel like your person will be reaching out to you. They deeply wonder if you feel the same way that they do, if you're having these same experiences, because I feel like this is something that you haven't spoken about, but this is something that you feel so intensely that it always crosses your mind. Do they feel this in the same way? Is this happening to them as well? Okay. I feel like there's going to be kind of an opportunity for you guys to exchange this information. This could be energetically, this could be telepathically, but this masculine right now is seeking to have some type of physical interaction with you, Divine Feminine. Okay, so that's definitely coming your way. I'm going to go ahead and end the reading right here. If you resonated with this message, be sure to hit the like button on the way out. If you have not already, be sure to subscribe to the channel and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.